Ba-da-da-da. Ba-da-ba-ba. Illy. Curfew medicine. wasn't very fun but it's done and I took it easy and I've been purposely taking it easy when I do my workouts because I want it to be low-key low intensity because otherwise if I try to push myself I end up injuring myself always because I'm competitive with myself <laughs> and the people in the workout video or anybody I'm working out with <laughs> and yeah, I don't know, I just tend to injure myself. So, taking it really easy, really slow, going at my own pace, it's still not fun. Especially today, I have a headache. A little bit of a headache, so. <clears throat> anyway, I don't know, I hear a dog whining and I'm not sure why, but uh, it's time to make some potatoes. I'm ready to have some breakfast. By the way, I'm doing a potato reset plus fruit right now. So it's fruits and roots, but it's still mainly potatoes, like 95%. So um, you will see me eating some fruit today, probably, if I feel like it. What are you whining over here? You wanna go out? It's cold out there. You gonna go eat the snow? Yeah. We have mashed potatoes for the doggies and their medicine. Gravy. I've got some whole potatoes here and some mashed potatoes. What do I want? I don't want mashed potatoes. I don't want. I don't know what I want. I have been on a air fried french fry kick lately because it's so easy. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of potatoes left. So this is going to be a kind of small breakfast. These are pressure cooked russets. They've been in the fridge. And I just happen to like that method. It makes it a lot easier for me to have pre-cooked potatoes and that's the only reason that I do it this way. Some people think that there's a huge benefit to having pre-cooked chilled potatoes because of the starch resistance or something like that, but it plays a very minor role. So if you like your potatoes cooked fresh, Go for it. It's all about what's gonna be easy and whatever potato style you like that is potato reset compliant, go for it. Temperature is 200 Celsius, which is around 400 Fahrenheit. It's a max temperature on this thing, I think. Yeah, and 20 minutes. That's typically the same setting I use for almost everything. Buggy, Oop. Penny, Ellie, yeah. This is the um, non-dairy milk that I use in my tea. Ideally, I would be using unsweetened and, I don't know, maybe one with less ingredients in this, but this is kind of the best I could find right now. Uh, but the really good one out there, if you can get a hold of it, is West Soy, but I could never find that in Canada, so. I'm just having about a tablespoon of organic ketchup here. Sometimes I'm in the mood for ketchup, sometimes I'm not. Lately I've been in the mood for ketchup, so that's what I'm having. I got this really good question on YouTube and I thought I'd share my answer because I know a lot of you, or some of you have come across this before and it's a concern when you're doing the potato reset or just incorporating a lot of potatoes in your diet. And that's about the calorie density um, difference when you air fry or do any kind of baking, air frying, etc. that dries the potato out and kind of shrinks it a little so therefore increasing the calorie density. So when it comes to the potato reset this is something that you can tweak later on if you need to but the most important thing in the beginning especially is just to eat whatever potato meals that are potato reset compliant, they're oil free uh, with minimal fat free sauces. The most important thing is you're just filling up on potatoes until you're comfortably full, just satisfied, not overly full. Um, because 
the whole point in the beginning is just to get yourself off junk food and whatever your food crutch is. Food crutches, whatever your food triggers are. I don't want anybody trying to force themselves to eat just boiled plain potatoes and white knuckle it through the whole thing because it's going to be hard enough as it is. So I want you to enjoy your potatoes. So if you're not losing weight on the potato reset, there's other ways to lower the overall calorie density of your meal. Let's say you hate wet potatoes. You just don't like boiled or mashed potatoes um, or just oven baked whole potatoes. You just can't stand them. Well, the thing is you can keep eating your air fried potatoes and you do a 50-50 plate with your potatoes and vegetables. That's another way to reduce the overall calorie density of your meal. So it isn't just one way, and if you hear somebody saying like, oh, air frying your potatoes lowers the calorie density, it doesn't mean that you can't ever have those anymore. It doesn't mean you have to stay away from them. Like, we can get really caught up in the small things, and it is a small thing. And small things are tools that are great to have for when you need them. So for me right now, I'm losing weight eating this way. And I feel good, I'm enjoying my meals, so I'm gonna continue with that. And if I get to the point where I need to tweak, I can either add more veggies, which you haven't seen any veggies yet today. <laughs> That's something I'm working on. Um, or just, you know, switch to maybe just making sure that one meal a day is boiled or steamed or something not air fried or dried out. So that's my answer to that question. And yeah, if you guys have any other questions, this is kind of nice to chat about it here. All right, I'm gonna do some work. Go say for potty. Chew that, Ellie. Don't. Hey, you're not gonna let you in there if you're gonna chew it apart. Come on, let's get out of there. Get your coat on. <laughs> are you cold, buggy? Yeah, my toes are cold, mama. <laughs> Next. Here you go, bug. Come on, Penny. Ellie, come. Come on. Here, come on. Go. Go, go, go. Good girl. We'll be right back. Be good. All right. Starting to get hungry for lunch. So I think I'm going to have some mashed potatoes, some broccoli, and an apple. All right. I have some frozen broccoli here from Costco. I like getting the frozen broccoli because I don't eat a lot of it, not yet anyway. If I eat too much broccoli, it, it makes me very, very gassy. <laughs> Same with cauliflower. So I'm just slowly working my way back up to being able to eat a decent amount of it. But what I like to do, and I learned this from Spudfit, take the frozen broccoli and put it in your air fryer and it tastes like freshly steamed broccoli. So I'm gonna change the time to Five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna take some leftover mashed potatoes. And I have a little bit of leftover gravy here as well, so get this going in the microwave. All right, got a little bit of gravy on there and my pathetic amount of broccoli, but it's something, so it counts. Got some sliced apple here. I'm probably gonna be sharing with the dogs because they love apple. June's still working on her carrot. Who's hungry? I want some dinner. Come here, Pen. Pen, it's yours. Here, bug. Come on, Ellie. Come in here. You can help Mama make the bed. Come on. Okay, here you go. Penny, did you have a good dinner? Watch where you're going, Ellie. Watch where you're going. Yes. He's so excited because Dad's home. Yeah. Okay, about these leftover mashed potatoes. I don't really want to have mashed potatoes right now, so I think I'm gonna make traditional yeast. 
two tablespoons. Garlic powder. Sorry, pups, it's not gonna be for you. It's gonna be kind of like my smash hash. 20 minutes at 400. Scott's having some spaghetti. He's sporting his fashionable warm hoodie. Woody. Woody. There's six minutes left, but I could smell it. it. Smells like it's done. It looks pretty good. Mm, smells good. Put a little bit of mustard. It's really not as big of a meal as I normally would have. So I'm definitely gonna have something else after this. Two frozen bananas in here and pataya, mango, pineapple or something like that. There's not a lot of it. Oh, and I wanna add some beet boost. This stuff, it's got beets and tart cherries and it's a really great way to get in some extra nutrients uh, I don't like beets. Do like a spoon of it. I've been defrosting this fruit for about 15 minutes and then I have a tiny bit of a splash of soy at the bottom here. Oh yeah, look how pretty that is. Ready to do your treadmill training? Come on, let's go! <laughs> it went a little too far there, lady. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Penny, come on, get up. Yeah. Ellie, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't have any cookies left, sorry. Yeah. You're just doing this for nothing. <laughs> I'm out of here then.